Now it's my pleasure to introduce one of your classmates that you selected to speak today, Chandler Tarquino. I've known Chandler for two years as an outstanding student in my advanced placement English classes and also as a member of the STEERS A team for her knowledge of topics, both academic and trivial, proved to be invaluable. Chandler would be the first to admit that she sometimes wears the scarlet letter P for procrastination. However, this summa cum laude graduate never fails to produce a final product that demonstrates her wit, creativity, and insightful intelligence. Chandler has been a member of the Art Club, KMO, and Debate Club. In addition, as this year's president of Interact, Chandler helped organize many club projects and volunteered countless hours of community service. Chandler's three years in the Estero High School Medical Academy have steered her toward a career in trauma nursing. She will begin her post-secondary education this fall at Florida Gulf Coast University. And so, without further ado, give you Chandler Tarquino. Procrastination seems to be a recurring theme today, and I will admit that I am a procrastinator. I think a lot of people here can identify with that, especially since I can name a handful that were on Facebook with me at 2 in the morning the day that our senior papers were due. Teachers, just pretend you didn't hear that. This commencement speech was no different for me, and like any procrastinator, I turned to the one place that would help. And any student here who has panicked last minute over a project knows exactly where I went. That's right, the internet. I began surfing websites like YouTube and Google in search of graduation speeches. Funny speeches, inspiring speeches, and a few that were a little bit of both. I spent a few hours searching, but somehow I just ended up watching viral videos like Jumping Cat, Ghetto Cranbrook Deer, David After Dentist, Annoying Orange, and pretty much every video Jenna Marbles has ever made. <laughs> While watching these videos, I did actually manage to find a speech that I think balances humor and inspiration perfectly. And although it isn't a graduation speech, it is a toast from a movie we all know very well. <laughs> Hello. How about that ride in? <laughs> I guess that's why they call it a stero. <laughs> you guys may not know this, but I consider myself a bit of a loner. I tend to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. <laughs> Although I guess in our case, as students of a stero high school, would be a one-man wildcat pack. But no matter what you call it, Alan from The Hangover taught us a lot of things that I believe we begin to apply to us as we graduate high school and begin our journeys in the future. One, always know where your pants are. <laughs> Two, don't steal Mike Tyson's tiger. And three, it's okay to be a one-man wildcat pack sometimes. Your life belongs to you and to no one else. You deserve to be ambitious, to be happy, and to be free to make your own decisions and your own mistakes. And there are plenty of mistakes left to be made and lessons to learn that can't be taught can't be taught in high school. As Asper Wilde said, education is an admirable thing, but it is well, to, it is well to remember from time to time that not all worth knowing can be taught. Estero High School has given us an excellent, well-rounded education to provide the foundation for our futures, but now it is time to enter the real world and get a whole new kind of education, the kind that's often learned the hard way. There will be more all-nighters pulled to finish that paper you forgot about. You'll oversleep and be late to a job interview. You'll fight with your friends and say things you wish you could take back. You'll fall behind on rent and discover the evil that are credit cards. You'll change your major as a freshman four times, and then when you're a junior, you'll change it twice more. 
you'll fall in love a lot, maybe with the same person over and over. And perhaps at some point you'll feel stuck, a little lost, or alone. The important thing to remember is that no matter the mistakes you're making or the lessons you're learning the hard way, you're never alone. Take a look at all the people sitting around you. At least one of them is bound to be in your same situation, feeling the same things that you are, maybe even at this very same moment. I can tell you what I feel. I'm nervous about my future. I'm uncertain about what I want to be and where I want to go, and more than anything, I'm afraid to try to figure these things out by myself. All these decisions have overwhelmed me at one point or another, and they may have overwhelmed you, especially as we sit here in our caps and gowns, about to receive our diplomas. But I can tell you one decision that I have made. I have decided not to let any fear I have stop me, because that is the worst thing you can do to yourself. Don't let any fear ever stop you in life. Armed with a good education and a little perseverance, we can achieve any dream. Alan from The Hangover taught me not to be afraid of getting stuck or being alone in my one-man wildcat pack. And so I'd like to thank him for inspiring my speech. I'd like to thank all the teachers for inspiring me every day to never stop learning and opening my mind. I'd like to thank all the family and friends who have come here today to see Astero High School's Class of 2012 commencement. On behalf of all of us, you are the ones who truly got us here with your love, patience, and support, and we're all grateful. And to you, Class of 2012, I would also like to say thank you for giving me the honor to speak before you on this most important day. I am proud of every single one of you, and I can't wait to see where life takes us all. Congratulations, Class of 2012.